What's up guys, hope you're having a good day. So I've been noticing this, this, what I'm about to talk about a lot recently. And that is, and this is the question we're gonna pose. We're gonna talk about this right now. I'm gonna give my thoughts on it. And we really need to, we really need to dissect this, honestly, and be honest and truthful, be honest and truthful with ourselves and not just jump up in arms. But here's the, here's the question. And then I'll analyze it and, and, and tell you guys why I'm asking this question. Why are there so many black people in television commercials and movies and TV shows? Literally, why? But let's really focus on commercials in this particular video. Why are there so many black people in television commercials? Now, I was going to title this originally, I was going to say in United States, US television commercials. But I realized this is actually a worldwide problem, a worldwide issue, because while doing research for this video, I saw a Reddit post from the UK, United Kingdom, where a, a guy had asked the exact same question. And he was like, look, black people are only 5% of the, of the UK population. Why are they in 90% of the commercials? It doesn't make any sense. It's not representing the, the vast majority of the population. It just doesn't make any sense. And here in the United States, we have a little bit higher of a black population in the UK. Uh, it's about 12%. But that's still a small minority. So if you're gonna overrepresent minorities just for the fucking sake of doing that dumb shit, then where the fuck are the uh, the Native American commercials? Where the fuck are the the Hispanic commercials? Uh, look, Native Americans. There's 10 million Native Americans in the United States of America, which uh, equates to about uh, I think it was like six or seven percent of the population. Asians. Where are the Asian commercials? I haven't seen an Asian commercial in years it seems like i mean i'm sure they're out there but they've got to be hardly at all so why are there so few asian commercials when they're seven percent of our population and you only get maybe like one commercial out of a hundred that's one percent there's it's not even there so why are we kowtowing to black lives matter and putting all these black people in the commercial it makes no fucking sense i mean it would be it would be one thing if, if you know they were getting like 12% of the commercials like for every 100 commercials that aired uh, it was 12 people 12 black centric uh, commercials that would make complete total sense you know and there was 20% uh, Hispanic commercials because it's 20% population of, uh, of Hispanics you know when was the last time you saw a Mexican family on a commercial when was the last time there's more Mexicans here in the United States than there are black people but we're countering this Black Lives Matter bullshit. And then I've never seen I've never seen a Native American commercial ever. I'm sure there's one out there, but I've never seen one. That's seven percent of our population. Asian, I know I've seen an Asian people person in a commercial, but it's super, super damn fucking tiny. They're seven percent of the population. That's huge. Where where are the commercials for them at? Now white people, us whites, we're like what, 60, 65% of the population? We should be at 60 to 65% of the commercials or the movies or the television shows. But no, we're not. It's like 10 to 15%. And, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. And if it's happening here and it's happening in the United Kingdom as well, there's some sort of conspiracy going on. There has to be. There's no way all these advertising agencies are just like, hey guys, let's fuck over the, the majority and just put a bunch of black people in the commercials because, you know, they're just better actors or something. I don't. I mean, there, there's a conspiracy here. There's got to be. It just doesn't make any sense. And look, I love my black people. My, you know, I got a bunch of black friends that are black, and I and I love them. But this is a real question that we got to talk about because every time I read some fucking article or some fucking TV show, it's always like white people bad. They have all the advantages in the world. They get everything handed to them. They get all the good jobs. They get everything. They get the good colleges. But then you see the facts of black people getting on the commercials, black people get into college easier uh, with lower test scores. What, what, what the fuck are they talking about the white people have it better? To me, it seems like if you're black, you have a damn better chance of becoming an actor. If you go into Hollywood, you have a way higher percentage of making it than a fucking white person. So it just seems like bullshit to me. And look, I'm not one of those people that like focuses on race. In, in, in general 
Alan is, you know, speaking, like, I, I would literally, I would fucking pick the best man for the job, period. Period, no matter what. I would never be like, oh, I'm hiring this person because he's white, and I'm hiring this person because he's black. I would never do that, okay? So I don't, I don't focus on race like that, but... This fed the fact, the simple fact is, the United States focuses on it. I see an article every day, literally, talking about how black people have it so damn fucking hard and white people have it so easy. But then I see this shit where black people in every commercial, which means that they're giving that job over a white person intentionally. And then on top of that, here's another thing that makes no sense. And look, no offense to black people out there, no offense, uh, um, you know, meant by this statement, but the the type of people they put the, the type of black people they put in these commercials is not representative of most of the black people I've met in my in my real life. They're 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 literally whitewashed black people, super effeminate whitewashed black people. Not even like regular white people either. Like most of the commercials don't represent regular white people either. Don't get me wrong, but they take this idea I, idea of like this uh, super wealthy white family. And they whitewash these black people, like these super preppy black people. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, those families exist. But that's literally like 1% of the black population. 1%, maybe 2%. That makes no fucking sense for the white people or the black people. All you're doing is is trying to be politically correct by adding a black family that's like super preppy and rich. And, oh, honey, I'm so happy. I, I have met so many black people. Hey, don't get me wrong. Some of them, their parents are still married. Yes. But the vast majority are raised by their mother or their grandmother. They don't even know their father. Or their father, they know him, but they hardly ever see him. So what the fuck is it always some mom and dad and two happy black kids and they're all super happy and shit? It's not representative of tr the true vast majority of black people. It's just not. It's fake. It's Fugazi. And it's also Fugazi and fake to have... That many black centric commercials. They're not. They're not even black centric anyway. They're fucking uh, some white man's idea, uh, ideal of what he wants black people to be like. But it's not. The facts don't back it up. So not only should white people be mad about this bullshit, black people should be mad about it too, because it's not them. Again, this isn't a racist video. This is just me pointing out facts and all fucking stupid. They should fall in this country. They always had some fat, fat person in the commercial now too. Like, no one wants to see some huge fat person in there. It's just so, man, it's so disgusting, guys. It's so fake. It doesn't represent real life. And everyone's effeminate and it's just so gross, man. It's so gross. Anyway, I'm done, guys. Thanks for watching the video.